Thank you to everybody joining us here today in studio for this week's entertainment panel. Everybody's favorite day of the week, I would say. Of course. Me and Abby St. John. So thank you everyone for joining us. We got some good topics. Yes, we do. Yeah. I think very anticipated projects, um, even yeah. one that we don't have too much information on. Yeah. But still, I think people are really excited about our second topic. Um, yeah, lots of like projects in the works. Yeah. And uh, I think this one that's going to be coming up a bit later on is going to be very interesting and everyone's kind of excited for that nostalgic kind of feeling. Yeah. to it but starting off you know I think a lot of people are very much excited for this um, because this trailer is showing a little bit more info on this uh, very anticipated movie and we got the Oppenheimer trailer so uh, let's take a look this is a national emergency detonator charge Yeah, I think people are very excited for Oppenheimer. Christopher Nolan, obviously, he's a legend in the director yeah. um, world. So a lot of people know who he is and what he does. This movie is also competing with the Barbie movie because they're being released um, on the same day, uh, July 21st. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a little competition because both movies are very highly anticipated. But we got a better look at Oppenheimer, and it actually looks really good. The trailer really knew how to sell you on it because mm -hmm. it was you know suspenseful and it kind of goes through um, Killian Murphy's character who plays uh, Oppenheimer it yep. kind of follows how he reacts to the atomic bomb as the trailer goes through it starts out like we need to beat the Nazis in this we need to get a bigger bomb uh, in case they have one and then it kind of slowly starts to show him deteriorating because he realizes just how bad the atomic bomb really is <laughs> yeah, and the exactly. damage it will do to the world um, if they go through with it and of course you know we know that nuclear nuclear bombs and the atomic bomb have not done great things mm -mm. it's probably one of the worst inventions literally um, mass in destruction my, yeah right mass there. destruction but this movie is based on the 2005 book american prometheus um, and it follows the father of the atomic bomb are our J. Robert Oppenheimer and his role in the Manhattan Project during World War II where they were able to create nuclear weapons um, to fight the Nazis or whatever. Yeah. Um, so this cast is stacked yeah. and it's fantastic of course um, Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., Florence Pugh, Jack Quaid, Gary Oldman, Rami Malek, Gustav Skarsgård, another Skarsgård. But this movie looks really, really good. And of course, Christopher Nolan, he knows how to make a really good movie. And a movie that makes you really think. I really do believe that this is going to be a possible Oscar contender. I think it's going to be definitely very interesting. And with uh, Killian Murphy, he's a great actor. Yes. Um, I've watched him in Peaky Blinders, and I know there's many Peaky Blinders watchers out there. And mm -hmm. great actor. He's very good at, you know, kind of demonstrating the, you know, impact of war and everything, mm -hmm. too, because he was involved in that in the show. And he was just very good at, you know, kind of portraying, like, how the after effects of how it can damage someone, mm -hmm. damage someone's soul pretty much. And mm -hmm. I think he's going to do a great job with kind of going through that whole yep. thing of creating that and then seeing, oh Lord, like, of course, yeah, going through uh, just all that mass destruction and yeah. seeing what happens. Now, our next topic is uh, one that's in the works, like we were kind of bringing up before, yeah. how we got, there's a lot of talk in the entertainment world with uh, different projects, sequels, and all that fun mm -hmm. stuff. And we got a sequel here for Beetlejuice. Yes. And I think that one sounds very fun and interesting. Everybody yeah. loves some Beetlejuice. I, I personally love that mm -hmm. old movie. Like, it is so good. And, of course, we don't have quite a trailer yes. just yet for the second one. But, you know, I'll make sure to throw up the uh, old one for anybody that may, forget, may forget what that one's all about. But, you know, this one sounds like it's going to be really good. We even have Jenna Ortega coming mm -hmm. into it. And I think a lot of people are excited for that, considering she's going to be playing uh, Renona Ryder's daughter. Yep. And then we have Michael Keaton. Of course. You need him back. You need yeah, him back. I mean, you can't yeah. have a Beetlejuice movie, uh, especially a sequel, yeah. without Michael Keaton. Obviously, because he yeah. create he <laughs> he brought the iconic yeah. character of Beetlejuice to life. Yeah. And so, of course, he has to come back. And then Catherine mm -hmm. O'Hara is set to come back as well. Yes. And then we have a couple newcomers, uh, like you said, Jenna Ortega, which I think a lot of people... This is the perfect role for her. Mm -hmm. We saw how she was in Wednesday. We've seen her in a couple horror movies. Like, she knows how to to act in a very creepy, very like uh, gothic kind of yeah. way. So I think this is the perfect movie for her. Mm -hmm. And then of course she's already worked with Tim Burton on Wednesday. So they have that kind of working relationship as well. We have Beetlejuice's wife, 
Um, and then Justin Thoreau is also in it as well. But the plot and his character are under wraps. Mm -hmm. So we don't really know what too much about it. It's set for September 6, 2024, which is what originally was Marvel's Blade um, set for. But of course, they had to pause production due to the writer's strike yeah. since 1988. So it's a long time coming. And <laughs> I guess that is we actually, really are yeah. in the world of sequels mm -hmm. or reboots right now with old nostalgic movies. So hopefully with the returning cast and Tim Burton back in the director's chair, I think I think it's very promising and I think it's safe and I'm not too worried about it being ruined, you know? Yep, yep. I think a lot of people were really excited hearing the announcement of like it's in the works and yep. who's kind of all coming back and whatnot yep. for the project, of course, to just bring back not just the movie for the nostalgic feeling, but also the actors that mm -hmm. really portrayed those characters. Mm -hmm. Of course, like we were saying, there's lots of projects out there that are getting yep. rebooted, sequels coming out, and we even have a couple more that's going to come out that we'll yep. talk about different panels, yes. but <laughs> this is a good one that we wanted to bring up and just let yep. people know this is in the works. I think yep. it's going to be good and people are going to be excited. But unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this week's entertainment panel. So once again, thank you everybody for joining us today for this beautiful day and have a great Mother's Day weekend.